All right, ladies and gentlemen, as we all know, Prince has died. A fellow bad bitch has fallen. They're rounding up all the multi-instrumentalists, ultra-androgynous pop stars. Father Time's getting them all this year. David Bowie's gone. Knock on wood for Missy Elliott. But it's just a mess. And my earliest memory of Prince is being down the Jersey Shore. I was six years old. Batman had just come out on VHS. We were on vacation. My parents' friends had the Batman, but my dad wouldn't let me watch it. He said, no, that's not appropriate. It's PG-13. No, and I cried and manipulated. I was like, I just want to watch Batman. I just want to watch Batman. I was sure I cried like a lot, and it didn't work. So what I did was I stole the VHS and watched it on a camcorder through the cam little camcorder hole in a closet in black and white with no sound. I watched the whole Batman movie. And then I was like, Dad, guess what? I watched Batman. That was like, I think, the moment where my father completely gave up on shielding me. He was just like, <sighs> and after that, it was just, you know, no media was safe that I wanted to see, really. And so, eventually I got my own copy of Batman on VHS, and I would watch it over and over again, and I was obsessed with it. A particular scene that I was obsessed with was when the Joker goes, he goes in the art museum, kills everyone in the art museum with the toxic gas, and then he goes in and he trashes all the art. He covers it in paint. He doesn't really trash all the art, he just makes it new and I think it was that moment in a lot of ways that made me want to be a creative person and be an artist and you know really showed what art is you know you you don't rely on old things you create something new and you know what music they're listening to when they're defacing all the art it's Prince and I think Prince was one of those artists too, and he will be very sorely missed.